Mexico is bracing for another round of protest against President-elect Enrique Peña Nieto. Protesters, mainly from the student group Yo Soy Ciento Trente y Dos, believe Peña Nieto bought the election and the media. Now, tens of thousands of demonstrators are expected to take to the streets in cities across Mexico this Sunday in a protest called Mega March. Among the targets, Televisa, one of, te one of the TV stations accused of censoring the student protest. Now, Vladimir Chorny is a proud member of that student movement, and he joined me earlier to talk about Sunday's march. Take a listen. Uh, we've been organizing this uh, march uh, along the, the, the moment we started uh, with the protest. This march, uh, dated for the 22nd of, of this month, is uh, intended to be a, a march that includes uh, also the states of the North and the South. This is uh, an intent for a national march against the imposition of Enrique Peña Nieto and uh, as a candidate of the of the Revolutionary Institutional Party uh, here in Mexico. We uh, also have uh, these demands uh, against uh, the media, uh, in specific uh, this uh, duopolic uh, system of television, of uh, Televisa and TV Azteca, because we consider that uh, the democratic uh, logic of uh, the media here in Mexico is not accomplished by these uh, two televisions. I mean, the, the system is uh, corrupted by this uh, duopolic power, and uh, this duopolic power favored uh, a lot this uh, candidate, and that is why we fight against uh, these uh, powers in specific. And so are you saying the media, I, I know that these protests had uh, erupted earlier this month, are They have they covered them at all? No, well, we have a, like a differentiated uh, situation with the media. We have one uh, sector of this media that do cover us and uh, uh, say what we decide in our assemblies, and we have this other part of the media that uh, fights against us and that uh, elaborates or establishes uh, some uh, uh, things that are not true, because obviously our interests are different than the, theirs. So the problem here with the media is that they do not show the facts as they are. They uh, obviously uh, diminish things that are happening, and they obviously attack us, saying that we are getting radical, or that we are getting violent, or that we are linking to other movements that have uh, protests that are violent or something like that. And obviously this is used to uh, attack the legitimacy of the movement using the lack of information that a bunch of people in the country uh, have. I know that another thing that you are protesting is that this alleged voter fraud. Uh, to what extent do you think that happened and um, what proof do you have of it? Yes, uh, th this is a very interesting question. We were working in a commission that is uh, called the uh, Revision or Vigilance uh, C Commission in, in the day of the electoral uh, date, the, this journal. Uh, and we were working also in this room that was called Peace Room, in which we were uh, making coverage of all the irregularities we, we were uh, um, uh, having. We have, uh, among all the irregularities, something like uh, 1,100 irregularities that contains violence in the poll stations. We have a uh, disappearance of uh, electoral material. We have even uh, two persons that died uh, that day. Uh, related, obviously, with the election. We have a uh, boat, uh, selling of boat or, or buying of boat from, uh, from the parties. And we have also another uh, anti-democratic uh, conduct celebrated that day. We have all these reports that uh, is going to be delivered to the electoral institutions, in particular this institution that is the uh, prosecution um, institution for electoral crimes and uh, to the uh, electoral tribunal. 
we consider that uh, these uh, facts contribute to the idea that this election was not clean, that this was a violent uh, election, and that these irregularities are uh, tantamount to consider that uh, this election was not democratic, as the institutions uh, say. This uh, report was established by the Vigilance Commission yesterday, and it is going to be developed to these uh, electoral institutions. And that was Vladimir Chorney. He's a member of Yo Soy Ciento Treinta y Dos movement.